Darwin, I guess let's start with uh, the last sequence. Um, LeBron gets loose and gets a really good look, and then um, just take me through what you saw from there. Well, they came down and they wanted to get their two best players in action, which they did, and you know, Jamal Murray hit a tough shot. You know, AD f fading away the baseline to his right. AD outstretched arm, great contest, kid a tough shot. You guys now two games in a row offensively in the second half. They've turned up. They've gone to a different place defensively. What weren't you guys able to get to um, against their adjustments and, and what needs to change moving forward for you guys second half? Once we watch the game, uh, we'll figure that out. Again, we had we, we, we played uh, a solid ball bat, a solid basketball game um, defensively, defensively through three quarters. Um, you know, it's just that's a tough team. Like you, you gotta, you gotta come with it. You can't take any possession off. You know, ball gets knocked around, come falls into Michael Porter Jr.'s hands. He hits a big three for them. So we gotta be on deck at all times versus this ball club. Um, offensively, we got some good stuff. Brian had it going. Idilo had it going from three. Um, you know, we'll be better from this. Definitely be better from it. Um, but they did what they were supposed to do. They held serve. Again, it's not the first to one, two, or three. It's the first to four. We just got to go home and do the same, starting with game three. Darvin, th this was about, obviously, as heartbreaking of a loss as you can kind of have with, with a buzzer beater. And you've been on the other side of that, I'm sure, other times in your career. What, what's the key to bouncing back in the next 72 hours and kind of just wiping the, the slate with this one? Making it about the work and knowing that you still have abundance of life. You still have an abundance of life. But we got to make it about the work and keep it about the work. Um, it's tough. Some tough uh, calls, some tough nine calls. But, you know, you can't use it, any of that as an excuse. You got to go out there and be ready to make plays, whether the whistle gets blown or not. Um, it's getting real tricky. Go through the season games being officiated one way, and then you get in the playoffs, and then it's like, I guess it's up left to the interpretation of the three individual uh, guys that's doing the job out there. But all that said, you just have to know that, um, yeah, it stings. Remember this feeling as we take it back home to L.A., and we got to give them that same feeling in game three. We can't, we can't. That needs to be the sole focus. Recovery process has to start now. It's filling our cuffs back up. But uh, game three, it's all about game three right now. Uh, Darvin, uh, AD had the 14 straight makes. I think a lot of those were on Jokic. They switched the coverage and had Gordon on him. And then he got in foul trouble and couldn't defend Jokic one and one as much. Uh, at, when that changed, uh, what were you trying to see and what were you trying to get to? Uh, it, as a, so, sorry. So AD guarding Jokic, right, wasn't able to as much with the foul trouble late. And then they switched the matchup to put Gordon on him uh, after he was you know, scoring so easily on Jokic. Yeah, they're just trying to, but I feel like Aaron Gordon is their best defender, along with KCP, but especially up along the front line. So, you know, they did what we did. We, we wanted to put AD on him to start the game, and, and as much as possible, you know, he wasn't allowed to. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I, I, I can see that, that that was their course of action um, in terms of putting uh, Gordon on him. As much as this game stings, how helpful was it to see D'Lo have the game that he had, making seven threes and make, you know, getting out the slump he's been in against this specific team over the past year or so? Well, I mean, it, it, I, he, he did exactly what I thought he'd do. You know, he had a tough shoot night game one. He went back to the drawing board, put his work in, came out firing away tonight. Um, it's a tough one that, 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 to come up on the short end of the stick with because of that performance that he had beyond three-point line. But it's playoff basketball, man. You know, you separate yourself by doing it over and over and over again. But then, um, AD, you having to sub him out because he had the, the foul trouble. Where do you think the offensive shifted for you guys? You know, when you had the 68-48 lead, there was a lot of flow. And then from there, even in the fourth, a lot of the stuff you got was, was kind of individual play from LeBron, individual play from AR, that pull up on the on the baseline. Like, what, what was Denver doing to get into your offense at that point? I mean, we were trying to get uh, take advantage of certain matchups and, 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 and bring certain guys within their defense to put them into action. Sometimes when you do that, it works out smooth. Sometimes, you know, you, uh, you don't finish the play. And by that, I mean, you know, we get the matchup that we want. They have to double team or something. Someone is left open. 
miss an open shot or miss a point blank layup, uh, things like that happen. So we just got to try to weather that storm. But one thing about it, we just got to continue to uh, make the right plays and make quick decisions. I can't hear you. Gut-wrenching loss. In the next two days before the next game Thursday, do you feel you are going to be as much a between the years guy to your team with your experience as X's and O's? Because you can point to 17 different things in a one point game. Well, we, we, it was a point where we had full control of the game and we can't forget that. And we just got to finish. We did a good job of initiating, we did a good job of sustaining, but we didn't finish well. So the biggest thing for us is to finish. And again, the intangible things, you know, taking care of the ball, uh, being great defensive transition and, and, and keeping them off the offensive glass. Uh, we just got to keep pounding that and pounding that, but still go back home with a belief that, you know, they still have to win one on our floor if they at, at all possibly can. And so uh, for me, the focus is as much as this one hurts and stings, my mind's always flipping to the next thing. What's in front of us now? And what's in front of us is game three. And we come out and compete, get a type of defensive effort we did in that first half, third majority of that third quarter. Uh, we'll be okay. We just got to fire tune some things as we go down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Darvin, uh, taking the 20 point lead early in the third, you feel like a lot of the adjustments that you made worked, and those are things that you can now apply into game three and, and moving forward? Absolutely. I mean, it just, you can't have a remedy for foul trouble. It limits your player, takes all the aggression away. Um, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, this is done, it's in the books. So now, again, we start the process of preparing for game three. We just got to come focused, can't look in the rearview mirror. We got to stay focused on the windshield. Thanks, Coach.